What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're talking about globus hystericus, that lump in your throat type feeling, throat fullness, throat tightness. There's a lot of different ways of, of explaining this. Go ahead and smash that like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this is something that you have dealt with because you are not alone, okay? I dealt with this um, periodically. I didn't deal with it for months at a time like some of you. Bless your hearts, okay? Uh, but I would definitely have a day or two straight where I would have this tightness in my throat. Um, I had a lot of fears with this, okay? And the, and the main one was like throat cancer, some mass or tumor. I had this fear of choking on my food, so it would interfere with eating, uh, swallowing, just things like that. It was very annoying, very, very annoying, but it's a pretty common symptom of anxiety. And I like sharing my experience with you guys because I can relate with you. Some of you feel so alone right now. You are not alone. All right, so I want you to also think about this. This is another way of me relating, but you're gonna be like, oh my God, you're, you're, you're freaking right about this. Some of you may have not experienced this, but I experienced moments of globus hystericus whenever I was a child or whenever I was a teenager or a young adult before I actually developed anxiety disorder. Have you ever tried to hold back tears? That is very painful. <laughs> you know, that's a bodily response to stress. It's a way of releasing stress and you're trying to hold that back. Your tension starts to really build up in your throat area. Have you ever noticed that your throat hurts or you get this fullness or lump in your throat whenever you're trying to hold back tears, whether that be, uh, you know, you're just trying to be strong, so there's an emotional or moving moment, maybe a movie or a song, you're trying to fight back those tears because you just don't want to let loose, all right, which is not a good thing to do, by the way, but you will definitely feel the tension in other areas of your body, including your throat. That's what's happening is that muscle tension. Um, have you ever been with somebody that you loved, okay? I'm talking about loved, had a lot of passion for, and they broke up with you or divorced you. You can feel it there too, that lump in your throat, okay? And, and of course, this, these situations obviously can cause other symptoms, but I, my point is, is that you can experience anxiety symptoms without having anxiety disorders. We just don't think of it too much before we have an anxiety disorder. We're not as negative. Um, we're not in this horrible cycle of obsessing over our symptoms. We kind of just know it's natural. All right. Now the problem is, guys, especially for some of you that are dealing with this for weeks and months at a time, it's very concerning. You're like, why isn't this stopping? All right. And, and here's my explanation for that. Okay. So what I try to tell people is do not focus on your symptoms. Don't focus on them. And I'm telling you, be true to that. Be true and trust it and be paid. I mean, it, of course, this is if you've gotten your reassurance from the doctors. Let me clear that up. You need to get reassurance first. If this is not the first time with you, then you kind of know how you work and operate on an irrational level. So if you know yourself, you know you have anxiety, okay? Don't focus on your symptoms. They eventually will erode and go away, diminish, okay? Deplete, subside, there's so many words for it. It's unreal. But they will go away. Some of you, this will happen faster. Some of you, this will happen slower. But the problem is, especially with the slump in your throat, maybe you know you're going one or two days let's say without focusing on your symptoms all right you're like i'm going to be positive about this it's going to go away and then on that third day you're like it didn't go away like this has to be something real some of you guys don't realize and everybody's different muscle tension whenever it's built up for a long period of time it can take a long time to go away when i had my first panic attack my chest hurt for like three weeks straight without a break just intense pain so it made me just so convinced that I had a heart problem. And some of you are so convinced that you have some other issue or throat issues or, or throat cancer or something like that. So you don't really give it enough time. What if on that fourth day it did diminish, okay? So you just have to be patient. You have to trust the process. Everybody's different, but just do not focus on your symptoms. So what's happening is just this muscle tension. It can be caused by either the fight or flight response or just a quick burst of stress, all right? So either or, adrenaline goes to your body, blood flows to your central vital organs and vital muscles in order to get away from danger or to fight it off. And a lot of muscle tension happens during this process and the areas in your throat, and it can be high, it can be lower, it can be right around your Adam's apple. Like for me, uh, that's where my muscle tension will add up right there. But it can be tight, it can feel full, it can feel like you've got like a baseball in your throat and it actually can be painful at times. So just understand that you are not alone. I've been through that. If you got any value from this, please, please hit the like button. If you know anybody that needs to see this, share it, okay? Again, leave me a comment. Let me know if you went through this. 
don't forget to grab that free book, okay? I'll put it down in the description and in the first pinned comment. There are other resources down there as well, including my anxiety tips, so check those out. Subscribe, guys, please. If you just watch my videos and don't subscribe, please subscribe. And also, hit that bell, okay? A lot of you are subscribed but haven't hit the bell. Hit that so you can get updates when I put my videos out. Until next time, I love you guys and keep fighting, all right?